Hey, uh, all right, we're going to start at the absolute beginning. I've got a brand new WordPress site here. Everything's just at default. It's got default content, default theme. Nothing's been done yet, so you're going to see exactly how quick and easy this is to work with. So I'm going to start by installing the WP Amazillion Air theme, just in the usual way. Nothing's, nothing complicated to do here. Grab the theme, install it. and activate. So now you're going to see a couple of extra menu items. You've got the theme customizer which is linked to here and here and you've got the WP Amazillion Air menu. So we're going to go ahead and get the basic setup done. So the first thing you want to do is put in your Amazon affiliate details. I'm just going to put mine in. And you also want to choose the country that you're targeting and save. And that's it for the basic Amazon setup. And you also have the option to change some of the post defaults here. So you've got uh, five different layouts that your product posts can take. And you also have the ability to change the wording on your add to cart button text, your read more button, and there's a little call to action message. And you can change what that says here. Uh, I'm just going to leave that at default for now though. So there's a couple of other quick settings that we want to change. Um, I'm going to go to settings reading and because this theme has three columns you want to have your blog pages showing a multiple of three so that you have nice even rows. So I'm going to change this to show nine posts at a time. And and we're going to change up the categories because uncategorized always looks pretty ugly. Nobody wants that. So actually, sorry, I should have quick edited that. Uh, so I'm just going to change that to read store. And let's also add, let's add a category called featured. Add that. And let's also add one called smartphones because we're going to be posting some smartphones. Okay, so categories are all done. Now I also, I just want to change one quick setting under settings media. We're changing the medium size image because the theme's going to work with this medium size image. So you want to leave max width exactly where it is, but we're going to change max height to an infinite number, so just four nines will do it. Then your product posts will keep the right aspect ratio, your uh, product images, I mean. All right, and we're going to take a look at some widgets. Now, you actually want the search bar Get rid of it from the sidebar. You want the search bar to go in the header, so take the search bar down to the header widget. I like to show these widget titles capitalized, looks better. And I'm just going to get rid of recent comments, don't want that there in the sidebar. Don't really want archives, nobody ever looks at that. Categories. That's probably a good widget to keep. Just going to capitalize that as well. And meta widget. No one ever uses that either, so we'll drop that. And we now, there's one, one plugin that I strongly recommend using with your sites. It's called Quick Cache. Quick Cache. This will radically enhance the performance of your site. And it works really well with this particular theme. It'll approximately uh, halve the load time without interfering with any of the functionality. Just downloading and we'll activate. And we're going to go into the settings for Quick Cache and turn it on. This is optional, but I do recommend it. All right, now we're going to go into the theme customizer. Amazillionaire uses WordPress's official inbuilt theme customizer because it is truly the only optimal way to have options in your themes. This is the only efficient way to have options in your theme that isn't going to drag your load time down. 
So what we're going to do in here is you'll see here you've got just a, a default title and tagline. The idea behind WP Amazillionaire is that it's going to let you pump out sites fast, fast, fast. So if you're putting out heaps of sites and you're making a massive portfolio of money generating sites, you don't want to have to stop and make a, a logo image for every single site that you make. You need it to be quick and easy. So what we have here is a Google font generated headline. So this is always going to look really nice, but you can change it to say anything that you want right here in the options panel. And this is also search engine readable, so you get a double bonus there. All you've got to do is expand this panel, change this to read anything you want. So we'll go WP Amazillionaire Affiliate Sites at the speed of light. Now I'm just going to wait for a second and you'll see this customizer shows you changes in real time. Well, you've got to give it a second sometimes, but you're going to see the effect of your changes right away. And the other thing you're going to want to look at is you've got these five social icons up here, header social icons, and in here you can change the links that are on each of those icons, and you can also decide to show or hide them. So here's your RSS icon, for example. You see if I change this to hide, give it a second, you see it's hidden that. So you're going to want to put your own links in here and hide anything that you don't want to use. So we're going to save that. And now you'll see on the front end, that's your essential setup done and you are ready to go. So now we're going to go through and you're going to see some of the super quick and easy ways that you can post Amazon affiliate content with WP Amazillionaire.